what happens at sleep. You then enter into another realm of consciousness. What do our senses reveal to us? But a small part of the truth. Shut off your senses at meditation and you will see. Go within each day more and more. Why did the matter of the universe, according to Book of Light, divide itself into atoms, planets and solar systems, including their inhabitants? All these, all of them, are but monadic desire in evolution. But they are effects or effects in outer physical spheres. But it originally takes place in inner spheres or realms, causing the effects in outer realms. We call it then the powers of nature, but they are effects, not causes. The causes are behind the veil, now lifted by the Book of Light. How does orthodox science define it? They confuse effects with causes. They think that everything in the universe is unimpulsed, unensouled, vitally unguided matter. To them, it is all luck or chance. What will happen? The Book of Light will change those false views and unite science, religion and philosophy. What is universe? It and all in it is effect of a cause. Repetition is the best teacher. So I repeat. The universe, everything in it, is but an effect of a cause, stretching from timelessness into time, caused by the impression of changing matter and back. So therefore time is nothing but the experience of changing structure of matter. and of that matter in motion. What is the universe? It is one vast organism, and we are part of it. How many beings are in the entire universe? One being. This is a very shocking news and teaching for most people. The entire universe is inhabited, if you may use that term, by one being. The entire visible and invisible universe, visible and invisible to us universe, is, as a matter of fact, one being. The entire visible and to us invisible universe is one being. And we are its limbs. Om. Study the Book of Light and you will understand. What are earthquakes? Tidal waves erupting volcanoes, electric phenomena, aurora borealis, or aurora borealis, and australis, wind, hail, electrical storms, glacial periods, precession, recession, endemic, pandemic, epidemic diseases, the growing of grass, 
blossoming of flowers, cell development, into living, thinking, being, the titanic forces in the sun, the plane and planets of the solar system. What are they? What is that all? <clears throat> It is one being, a living being. Is it understood correctly that there is only one being in the entire universe and that this universe itself is that being and that we are part of it? Yes, that is the teaching of the Book of Light. Is man a minor or higher? hierarchy. Minor, but emanating from divine source. What are intelligence and willpower of man? They are inherent parts of his interior constitution. But what is collective humanity? one of numberless hosts of hierarchical aggregates of intelligent beings, rather of intelligence, filling, in quotation marks, the universe. What is the true name of the manifested universe, which is a living being in itself? The name of that being which is the universe and there is no second is called Adam Kadmon and its spiritual source or cause is the super monad what is man in his nature visible and invisible is that why the universe, too, is visible and invisible? <laughs> yes. Can man carve his destiny? That is what he does, life after life. Mostly guided, or rather enslaved, by blind desires. How can man find solutions to the problems of nature? By penetrating deeply into the invisible realms of his own constitutions. The core and center of your being is also the center of the universe, God itself. So then scientists are wasting money looking outside for the center of the universe? Yes. What is every being? It is an evolving life. What are all heavenly bodies of the universe? They are living beings. Is that confirmed by other sages? also concerning the monadic or spiritual root of everything? Yes, Origen and others claim that the suns and planets, etc., did not begin to exist when the universe appeared, but prior to that. And this teaching was, as already mentioned, repeated by Father Jerome. What is our earth? This earth is kind of a planetary animal. It is mother and producer of animate beings, drawing life from her. Earth is an unsold organism. Can earth think? It has an instinctive manas, 
or thinking principle. Just enough to keep itself alive. What are the electrical phenomena of our planet Earth? Those are the vital actions and reactions of Earth. Arising of its jiva as electrical storms, earthquakes, etc. Are we humans, animals too? In our lower principles, yes. Thus, we and Earth are closely linked together in arising and passing away. Is there no escape? Overcome your animal desires. Earth and man came forth from a tiny seed. Where are man and earth born from? From points of energy, centers of energy. Embodied where? In an aggregate of atomic substances. How does a planet appear? How does a planet become alive? Out of the to us still invisible spheres, progressing downwards into matter. The planet itself? No. But its cosmic seed or life center or energy point, when it attracts more and more first etheric then condensing matter, it grossens more and more by collecting life atoms. Where do they come from? They are ready and waiting from past manifestation. Same with man. The seed becomes the planet? Yes. By drifting more and more from the invisible sphere, from the to us invisible sphere, to the visible. To the visible. Could I see such cosmic birth of a planet? Only if your third eye would be fully activated. So the seed becomes a physical planet? No, not immediately. First, the seed becomes the etherical matrix of the planet. Around the matrix, the physical planet is built. Please explain to me the various stages of a planet from invisible to visible. After having left the invisible spheres, the cosmic seed driven by desire for manifestation, appears on the visible plane as first nebula, second a comet, third as a still ethereal planet, then fourth, for instance, as a visible planet, for instance Saturn. Why do I mention Saturn? Because Saturn is still less dense than water on Earth. Thus, Saturn is the perfect example of a planet in one of its earliest phases of materialization. So Saturn will condense more? Yes. Saturn will materialize eventually to the density of planet Earth. 